And now just allowing the breath to help center the attention. Gently closing the eyes if that's helpful for you. Feeling into the contact of the sitting bones, the base of the pelvis with the seat you've taken. Allowing the weight of the body to release into what is below the seat, <clears throat> the cushion, the floor, the support of the earth. As we sit, aware of the alignment of the spine, the organization of the body around that central spinal column, the main conduit of energy, and the primary structural support for everything from the pelvis up. Tuning in to the power of your own spine. The spine which is running in the middle of the body, front to back in the middle, not just top to bottom. So if you think of your spine as just the backbone uh, running up the back, see if you can expand your understanding to include the fact that most of your spine is deep inside the body the primary part that's holding everything up right now. It's the front part of the spine and that's several inches deep in the middle. Appreciating this support that naturally organizes if we let it. I'm just tuning into the body and seeing where you might be gripping where you might choose to let go. And if there are parts that don't seem to respond to your invitation to release, then let that be. Can we include all the sensations now in the body, whether they're pleasant or unpleasant? And you might be aware that much of the time, things are really neutral. They're neither pleasant or unpleasant. Just letting things be as they are. And now bringing some attention to the breath. Noticing how the body breathes all on its own. Something that's happening continuously anyway. We're just going to rest our attention on it now. So what is it like this breathing that's happening? What can you feel on the in-breath? What can you feel on the out-breath? What 
wherever it is strongest, most vivid, most easy to notice the sensations of breathing in and out, let the attention rest there. Whether it's at the abdomen or the chest or the nostrils at the tip of the nose, wherever you can feel these sensations of breathing, stay with that. And in the, in the mindset that we had with self-touch, see if you can receive the touch of your own breath. The touch of the air as the body takes in what it needs. the touch of the air leaving the body as it lets go of what it doesn't need. Letting ourselves be touched by the air that surrounds us. This breath is the most intimate connection we have to our outer environment. What we see, hear, taste, smell, feel. These are all intimate, sensual experiences, but moment by moment, just by virtue of this body breathing, We're inhaling the environment and exhaling into it. So we'll continue in silence for a few minutes. And if you don't wanna stay with the breath, that's fine. Whatever you're using to stay relaxed and alert and aware, See if you can sense how it's touching you. And those of us that want to stay with awareness of breathing, taking in the subtle ways we connect to the outer environment through this breathing and the subtle movements and shifts that happen as the body breathes itself.
Thank you for your practice. Just remember as you go through your day that the two things you always have with you that can really be an aid in finding center, stability, and ease in your life are touch and the breath. You can use the power of your own touch to find that ease. Any And any time you tune into the breath, let it touch you. Move in close. Don't be afraid to get close to yourself. And have a great day.